Welcome to the Case Systems Management Appliance Ticket Templates Feature What's New video. In this video, we'll look at the following improvements to the Appliance Service Desk, Ticket Templates, and Conditional Fields in Ticket Templates. First, we'll look at Ticket Templates. To access Ticket Templates, click on the Service Desk, select the desired Service Desk queue, select Customize Fields and Layout, and scroll to the bottom of the page. The Ticket Templates feature allows you to create different ticket types within the same queue. Use it to better control the information your end users provide for different request scenarios, without having to create and manage multiple ticket queues. Each queue can have one or more ticket templates. Provide a name for the template using the name field. And as a best practice, you should provide a description of the template so others know what its purpose is. Selecting for processes only will configure the template to only be available for use when creating process tickets. Selecting this option will also prevent the selection of limit template to selected users and show in user portal. When multiple templates exist in a queue, you must select one ticket template as the default template. Selecting limit template to selected users will expose the manage associate labels button so you can select the user labels for limiting access. The Show in User Portal option will make the ticket template available in the Need Help section of the User Portal. If not selected, users can still create a ticket using the template from their ticket list. Dragging fields from the list on the right into the dotted box allows you to configure the ticket layout. Now, let's look at using conditional fields in ticket templates. On the Ticket Template Detail page, clicking the gear icon will expose the available settings for each field. Not all fields will allow conditional logic, for example, the title field. For those fields that allow you to configure conditional logic in each ticket template to show or hide certain fields based on previously selected values on the ticket page. For example, if you have a ticket template for printer issues, you can display different fields that are applicable to different kinds of printer issues. Visibility will dictate whether the indicated field is shown or hidden based upon the conditions you designate. The When drop-down allows you to specify whether all conditions or any condition needs to be met to show or hide the field. Clicking the plus sign next to Conditions will add conditions for you to configure. Not all fields will be displayed in the Select Field drop-down, only those that are capable of conditional relation. The operators are limited to Equals, Does Not Equal, and Begins With. Fill the Parameters field with what is needed to make your condition pass. Now let's take a look at these changes on the Case SMA. To access ticket templates from the Service Desk Configuration page, first click on Queues. Then, select the queue where you want to create ticket template. At the top of the Queue Detail page, click on Customize Fields and Layout. Scroll to the bottom of the Queue Customization page. Click on the plus sign next to Ticket Templates to add a new template. For this demonstration, I'll just call this template Example Template. Don't forget to check the box for Enabled, otherwise your template will not be listed for selection when creating a new ticket. If you expect to have more than one template, make sure whichever template you want to be the default template is marked as the default. Now let's drag several of these fields over to build a rough design for this example ticket template. Clicking on the Expand icon will allow you to configure a field to consume a third, two-thirds, or all of a row. Upon initial drag and drop, all fields will appear at the top row, unless the row has been filled. From there, you can then drag and drop the field again to the desired location. Fields can be rearranged as much as you want, until you find what you think will work. They can even be readjusted later if you find that the template needs to be readjusted. When you're ready, click on the gear icon for a field you want to be conditional. If the field is not able to have a conditional relation to the template, then you will only see the Overrides tab. The Overrides tab can be used to force a different functionality on the field within the template from how the field is configured in the queue configuration. Now, let's configure the conditional logic for this field. Click on the plus sign to add a new condition. 
multiple conditions can be specified if desired. As we can see, we have several fields in the Select field dropdown, but not all of the fields on our template are listed. Only those fields that can be conditionally related are listed. When you have created all of your conditions and selected the Visibility and When options, click the Update button to save changes. Clicking Save and Preview will allow you to view your template in a few different ways as if it were created or edited by a user or an owner. Since this is just a preview, the template may not provide full functionality. But this is a good way of making sure you have your fields in desirable locations and that they occupy enough of the space on their assigned rows. After you confirm things are as you desire, don't forget to save your ticket template. When a template has been saved, it will then appear under the ticket templates listing. To save changes on the queue configuration, click the Save button. Depending on the configuration of your conditional fields, you may find it best to test your ticket template as the types of users who will potentially interact with the template. Let's create a new ticket using our template and see if our conditional field functions properly. In the case of this template, I configured the category dropdown to be contingent upon the device field being populated by a device with a name that begins with Mac. So, I'll first select a device that doesn't begin with Mac. As we can see, the category dropdown has not appeared for us. Let's see what happens when we select a device beginning with Mac. The category dropdown appears, and we are able to select items within. Thank you for watching this KKE video.